Here are my favorite models for stable diffusion, how and why I use them. Let's get started. I will include almost all of the images I show you today in a download folder. You can drag them inside of Automatic 11.11 into the PNG info so you get the full prompt, negative prompt and also all of my settings. And also from the negative prompt check out to see all of the embeddings that I'm using in there. So the first model I want to start with is Ref Animated. This is my all time favorite model to play with. One of the reasons for that is because it is easy to prompt for. And the second most important reason for me is because you get these amazing digital art images. Now, there are several things that are really cool about this. It is very good about details and it is very good about idealizing the image. For example, here you can see these exaggerated body shapes, so very, very nice hip. And overall, the pose is very dynamic, dramatic, expressive. Everything is very cool. Now, another thing is important with this model is the color choices and artistic decisions that are rendered into the model. So for example, what we can see here is when we zoom in a little bit more, you can see that this guy is standing on a dark background. But artistically, what you would do here is to have a light highlight around the hair so we can see not just his silhouette better stand out against the background, but on top of that, we also want to see the individual hairs. Now, here is another thing. This is very nice about the color choices. Do you can see that the background has kind of a green or teal blue? And because of that, it is a very nice choice that we have here, this kind of orange yellow that is a nice contrast. So not only is this a brightness difference, it's also a nice color contrast that gives you a very good view of the hair and the silhouette of the character. Then overall, again, you can see that the details are beautiful here. The color choices are very, very nice. The composition is nice. The pose is dramatic. It's really good. Now, to a lesser extent, you can also use red animated for landscapes. I didn't really find it useful for that. But on the other hand, I have to admit, I don't really do too many landscapes. So it might be better for it than I might know. Of course, you can do much more with Ref Animated. For example, these kind of realistic images here, look at the beautiful light, especially this warm light that's coming from behind that is touching her skin, bringing that out, giving a lot more emotion to the face. But then at the same time, look how dynamic everything is, these nice, artistic decisions, how this dark hair here and the hair on the other side is framing her face, how the white in the eye is bright so that we can actually see her looking at us. All of these kind of things are beautiful artistic decisions that are made and also about the other details in the image. Again, the color combination, we have here a very nice blue combined with a very nice orange, but then also we have here a pink that also harm harmonizes with the blue over here. So all of that is really, really nice. Here's the last image I want to show you because of course you can also do all kinds of nice fantasy stuff, different types of clothing, all kinds of different background. You can see here we have some elfish ears, we have some earrings and other kinds of decorations. The face expression is really nice. Again, this is kind of idealized from the head shape that you often get this kind of triangle head shape with ref animated and it's overall a really, really nice model. Now before we go on to the next model, let's talk about the Civit AI model page. Now, first of all, what you want to do here is to scroll down as always and look here at the model information is provided here. What is it good for? What kind of sizes does it work with? What kind of VAEs should you use with that? What kind of negative embeddings that you can download here directly are working well with this? There's also some videos linked here. A lot of them are from me. And as always, I suggest to you click on these images and then here on the right side, you get a lot of information for the prompt, the negative prompt, the sampler, the model that's being used, the CFG scale, the steps, the seat and the clip skip. And this is another important thing that this model is used with clip skip 
too. Inside of Automatic 1111, you can have a slider here for clip skip and also for the VAE choice to get this. Click on settings. On the left side, you look for user interface. Scroll down here, you have the quick settings list. And there you can see I have added clip stop at last layer and also SD underscore VAE. And you can, when you click here in the empty space, select that from the long list. I would absolutely suggest you do that because clip skip choosing and VAE choosing is very important for automatic 1111. Now here's another advice I want to give you. You can use high risk fix. I would suggest to use it with the 4X ultra sharp model with a denoise strength of 0.2. Alternatively, I would suggest to you to send it to image to image to upscale it there with a denoise between 0.2 and 0.35 and upscale it to a size of two because also again this improves the image quality massively. Let's go on to my next favorite model that is realistic vision without a doubt. I really like realistic vision for the reason it has this kind of modern photographic vibe in the way the models are posing in the way light is used in the expressiveness it overall has this kind of professional photo vibe. It also can have very very realistic looking scenes everything about this can be very beautiful by the way this is also a good model for the images where you have less clothing on the model let's go here to the next image as you can see it can do a lot of things very well also different ethnicities and it can do foliage it can do different kinds of backgrounds you can see here a beautiful very realistic looking tattoo all the details are amazing for this here we have another image again the materials are very nice for the jacket the glitter on the arm of the fabric but also the expression you can see different ethnicity different age beautiful face very expressive very nice and delicate face here also very nice soft hair coming down from the head all about that is really beautiful you can see here that the decisions are different from the colors from the light from the posing also of course all of the things here are more realistic so in this case we do not have the thing that for example the hair here would be in a different color and much brighter to pick out every single hair and have this really bright instead this color here on the hair is reflected also in the background so the light choices here are more realistic and everything looks a lot more like an actual photo of course you can also do other things like for example you can do close-ups and macros things like that and you can do foliage and backgrounds in a very nice way here we have a rainforest that just looks amazing with this little stream going going in between the trees and the leaves. Here we have another thing that realistic vision is really good at and this is this kind of amateur wipe images where the light is cooler it's not like studio light it looks like actual daylight like a capture in the moment so that can also be very nice very playful at the same time and you can do creating things that are more realistic in an amateurish way so that can be really nice for the authenticity of the images you create of course you can also create different locations you can see here it does a beautiful job of a kind of fake Roman or Greek ruin looks very very good very nice composition also and here we have a dog it does animals beautifully look at the hair of the dog also the background and again a lot of these decisions here are very photographic very aesthetic you can see with the overcast dark dramatic sky in the background but then from the foreground we have some artificial light that at the same time looks nice realistic and beautiful so everything here comes together in a nice way as you would actually photograph a subject like that so that is really really good again let's have a look here at the civity eye page of course here you have different models you have the text to image models you have the in painting models separately so check that out and load the models for that purpose although I have to say when you do in painting for example for Roop or for Ed Detailer 
also the normal model works very well for example to replace a face of a character now again you want to scroll down here look through the information that is given to you the suggestions that they tell you about the negative prompt about the prompt you should use for example this one here works very very well as a neutral prompt and also you want to check out the different settings they suggest here to you they have here for example they suggest high risk fix with a 4x upscaler and a denoise strength and so on so always 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 look at this information here that is given again here you have a very nice long negative prompt you can see here in orange it's underlined there is a negative embedding in here that you can also click on you can download that to improve the quality of your images negative prompt has a huge impact on the quality of the image so you really want to dig into that and make it work for you and of course again you want to click on the images look at the right side for the prompt the negative prompt and all the other settings that are given here for you let's go to a new favorite of mine that i only discussed covered about three days ago it's called magic mix and this is very good for this kind of very realistic style that has this kind of authenticity in there you can see from the colors this is a little bit more dark more eerie but the skin is also very nice it's very expressive it has this kind of vibe of authenticity about it here we have another image example this of course has less of that eerie light but you can see that the expressiveness of this is more classic more analog but at the same time it feels more real so this is what i really like about that it is very very good with the fabric with the hair also with the color of the skin how the light is reflected from the skin so this is really good if you want to have this kind of image that kind of feels very real again this is a model because it is a realistic photo model that you can use for creating images where the models have less clothing on so you can also be playful with that and because this has this more analog vibe on it again it is more authentic it has more of this kind of amateur look so that can also be playing into the scenes you might want to create with this you can also see here from the images it creates a really beautiful very nice backgrounds the bokeh is very nice and soft there is also a nice progression of the bokeh from the foreground in the to the background so in this case you can see that the flowers closer to the woman are of course sharper and then slowly get more soft towards the background you can also use this to create amazing landscape and scenery shots one of the things i like to play with here is the drone view here we have a beach and i would say this looks absolutely like a photo of course also jungle scenes can be very nice it often uses this kind of long time exposure effect for waterfalls where you get this kind of soft stream Dream. and what you can also do with this is these kind of realistic eerie shots here i used a liminal space in the prompt and also gopro wide angle shot to get this kind of eerie looking creepy situation but it is very realistic looks very beautiful of course again as always we want to check out the civet ai page you want to scroll down look through the information that you find here there's also a lot of chinese text but most of it is kept in english so there is no problem to understand this here's a suggestion for the sampler to be used now there's also a little bit text here about the facial restoration now down here we have a longer section about a laura block weight with these kind of numbers here and i have to admit i'm not quite sure why what this is but I will try to figure it out and make a video about that so here you find a lot of different informations on using this model to get the best possible results here interestingly enough for a photorealistic model this is suggesting to use clip skip 2 which is rather unusual and don't forget that you also have your suggestion for the negative embeddings so for example in this case here it's suggesting ng deep negative version 175t and then also bad hand version 4 again these are links you can download them directly into your embeddings folder and let me repeat it again click on the images and look for the information here on the right side now it is very interesting to see here that in the start of the prompt this is using one girl now one girl doesn't have anything to do with the age of the character what this means is that this is a classic prompt that is used for anime images with one girl you can also create a woman of any age no problem about that 
that. But it is interesting to see that this is using keywords that are usually associated with anime models. Maybe this is also giving us a hint why this model is preferring Clip Skip 2. Now the next model I want to talk about is called Photon and this is actually not an AI image. This is a photo that I've taken of a model. But what the importance of this is, is that I use Photon often as a model for the LoRa face training. So here we can see a result and you can see that this is the same person. It has very nice details if we zoom in a little bit closer so that you can recognize the person. Very nice details on the shape of the lips, of the nose, of the eyes. It is really good in recreating that but also what you can see here is very nice details on the reflectiveness of the skin, of the quality of the skin texture. You can even see here tiny tiny little hairs for example on the cheeks of the face so that is very very good and it can also if you do it the right way really nicely recreate a face in every single detail that is really amazing and so you can put the person into all kinds of different costumes and create fake photos of that person here we have another version with the same person in there again you can really recognize her very easily here she's standing as an angel with a beautiful sky in the background and this model is very very good and also easy to use for LoRa training. Again let's have a look here at the Civit AI page. Again you can find a lot of information here. As always scroll down and look through the suggestions that are made here for the prompt negative, prompt sampler, size, high risk fix and of course as always you want to look in the information of the images here in the right side with the prompt negative, prompt and all of the the settings so that you have a good starting point and you figure out how to use this model to its maximum potential. Again, as I said, I use this model mostly for LoRa training and then afterwards for implementing the LoRas into the scenes I want to have them because often it is good to use the LoRa with the original model it was actually trained with. But of course, you can also use the LoRas trained with Photon on other photorealistic models. Now, as an addition, I also want to call out two other models you might want to try for SDXL. You might want to try out the Dream Shaper X. XL model. It's really beautiful, makes very nice results. And as an alternative for the realistic models, I want to point out to you the Re-Liberate model, which is from the same developers as the Deliberate model. Now, this model has the benefit that it is more playful with the colors, with the posing, with the style of it, because it has more inspiration from digital art. I would like to know in the comments what your favorite models are, what you're using them for as a subject of the image, and also how you're using them. For example, do you use them specifically for LoRa training or for image generation or for in painting? What is your favorite use? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did so and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.